All right, guys, so here we are once again for another F1 2015 Pro Season Mode video. This time it's round number seven here in Canada. Traditionally, it's been a pretty good circuit for me if you go back to F1 2014, 2013, even 2012 for that matter. But uh, here we are for the 2015 season and driving in the Red Bull. It's going to be a very interesting round to see if we do well here. It's going to be crucial, though, for us to get good track position and try and attack those Mercedes right from the outset. So... Uh, we'll see how we go. There is a forecast for some light showers sometime in qualifying, but it's not 100% certain yet. So, I don't know. We'll see how we go. We're on a bit of a, a momentum uh, peak at the moment. So, we're looking very good in terms of pace. Obviously, we won Spain. We won Monaco. Can we make it three times in a row? We'll have to wait and see. If you want to have a look at my setup here, here it is. You can pause at the video and, and write it down for your own career mode. So... Uh, hopefully that'll help you guys out, but now we're under Q1 as you can see the sky looks a little bit threatening So I wanted to get a time in very early on a set of super soft tires And that's exactly what I did surprisingly. I actually went P1 in the session, which is uh, Very very surprising very confidence inspiring heading heading into Q2 and obviously Q3 So since we did top Q1 it was almost no surprise that we made it through to Q3 nothing really happened in Q2 apart from the fact that both Mercedes and both Ferraris qualified on a set of prime. So they'll be starting on prime tyres for the start of the race. And if we can get pole position in this session, that's going to make things very interesting for the race because we'll have much softer compounds and uh, we'll be able to pull away from the start. So that's exactly what I was focused on doing in this Q3 session. Coming up to the line, it looks like a very good lap so far. Cating up to the line and we get P1. There we go. That's three poles in a row in the last three rounds of career mode or pro season. And uh, it's proven to be very good for us. Whenever we get pole, we seem to march forward and win those races. So can that happen again tomorrow? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, three tenths is the margin to Nico Rosberg. Vettel in third place. Lewis Hamilton, not the best of qualifying efforts down in P4. And also good to see that my teammate there backed up pretty well in P5. So that's qualifying now. It's time for the race. Welcome to race day here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve. The grandstands are filling up nicely and there was a real buzz around the paddock this morning that today's race could be a cracker. So here we are for the race, starting from pole position for the Canadian Grand Prix. We've been on a really good run these last few rounds. Pole in Spain, pole in Monaco, and now pole once again in Canada. I, I honestly can't believe the form we're on at the moment. We need to capitalise too because we just don't know when this kind of form is going to run out. So... In terms of the race strategy, we've got a one stop on our hands, so stopping on lap 32 or 33, depending on how the tyre wear is, going onto a set of primes to the end of the race. Now, in qualifying, the, the two Mercedes and the two Ferraris both qualified on prime tyres in Q2. So the best time that you set in Q2 is the, is the tyre that you're going to start on. So those guys going for an alternate strategy, which is really weird. I've actually not seen that so far this season, especially especially since the front runners normally don't run on prime tyres for the start of the race. But five red lights and away we go for the Canadian Grand Prix. A little bit of wheel spin there off the start. And we've given up the lead to Nico Rosberg there. Almost given up the lead to another Mercedes car on the inside. So I don't know what it is, but these Mercedes cars on prime tyres have very good traction at the start of this race so far. Around the outside of Hamilton and we get him. That's, uh, that's very costly. We got the position back, but we've given up a lot of time to Rosberg, who now leads this race by about two seconds so far. It's crucial that we get in front of Rosberg because he's on the prime tyre, and he's going to be very quick at the end of the race on uh, the softer compound tyre. That's why I'm so crucial, uh, so crucial, so desperate to get in front of him now because the tyre wear may come into it later if, it, if it's bad enough on the rear tyres. But a very late dive bomb move into the hairpin, we overshot, that was always going to happen. Rosberg does the undercut and gets back into the lead. Rosberg not good off the final corner. The chicane really uh, bad for his grip, but either way, we're going to go up the inside into turn one. This time we've been a little bit more smart with our move. And Rosberg's still there, we almost oversteer into the path of him there. That was very close, this is turning into Bit of a titanic battle here between the leaders. Uh, no, we can't quite get him yet. It's only going to be a matter of time, though, before we get Rosberg. This is getting very intense. Uh. 
you can definitely tell he's on the <clears throat> he's on the harder compound attire because he's just all over the place and he's much slower in the middle of the corners. As soon as we get in front of this guy, we're going to pull away because this option tire is just that much faster than uh, his car. But either way, he's very good on the traction. He's very good on the exits, and that's where all of his uh, lap time track position is coming from. We fly past with the help of DRS, and now I think surely. Oh, we've gone in very deep into the final chicane, but I think it's helped us. We are into the lead now of the Canadian Grand Prix. Yes, we do hold on to it. I was just holding my breath there for a little bit there because we overshot the corner and Rosberg obviously got the better exit. But now we have the lead. Time to pull away. I can't believe I've just done that. Just after getting the lead, I've overshot the freaking hairpin, and now Mercedes are all over me here. I'm sort of all over Rosberg, but still, even with DRS, I was actually surprised he didn't get further up the road than what he did. There's contact! Every race, this seems to happen. There's always a bit of controversy, a bit of drama. What happens here? Who's at fault? <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is just absolutely... It's death right now. I, I can't understand. Okay, let's ride on board with Hamilton here. we He's probably got the best viewpoint. Codemasters! I didn't change the camera view, so why'd you change it on me there? Okay. Going through here, Rosberg is badly placed, and he's just... Yeah, he's, he's gone in too deep, and he's, he's come into my line and spun out. And, again, Codemasters, thanks for changing the camera view. We can see... Vettel completely stopped there. I think that's because there's a yellow flag and he's not allowed to pass. Which is ridiculous because the Mercedes is in the wall. Like, what else can he do? Guys, I've carried on about 20 seconds down the road and checked the replay camera to see what's happening and yeah. It's happened again. We've got another almighty roadblock. Literally everyone in the field is stuck. Like, no one's moving. Uh, what's going to happen here? Someone's going to get disqualified here. And then the rest of the pack is obviously going to carry on, but... I mean, look at this, a Toro Rosso, Force India, both Force Indias in the wall. Vettel just stuck there, he's not moving. Look at him, we fast, we go up to Vettel. First gear is engaged, and he's just not going anywhere. Codemasters, we had, we had the absolute shambles in Monaco, and now we have this. Five second time penalty for Vettel, illegal blocking, yep, yeah, that one's fair enough. Now we have a five second penalty... For Bottas, severe collision with Massa as well. So that's all that we have at the moment. I'm going to fast forward. I'm going to keep going. And then I'm going to check the, the replay camera again to see what happens and see if anyone gets disqualified. We may even go do the full lap and everyone's still stuck there. And the race might be over from there. But, yeah, what can you do? Like, when the track is blocked like this, that normally warrants a red flag. And because Codemasters have been Codemasters this year, there are no safety cars, there's no red flags, so what's going to happen by the time I come round to that part of the track again on the next lap? Is, is the race just going to end and that's going to be it? Let's have a look. Everyone's still stuck here. I think Vettel has actually got disqualified now. Look at the manor, look at the manor! It's on the inside of the track and he's gained all those positions! <laughs> oh, well. Okay. So here's the replay after we continued on a few more seconds. The mana moves into in front of that group, and I think that's the chain reaction that stops it all. So everyone carries on after that. I don't know if anyone else was disqualified, but this Salva doing some weird things. So wh what is going on? This this game is... Uh, it's a good game. Like, just driving, the pure driving mechanics of it, but for glitches, for things that shouldn't be happening, this game is honestly the worst. This is why we need safety cars back in the game. You just would have called it out, it would have been fairly simple to introduce right there, would have fixed the race, or even a red flag. That was easily a red flag situation right there, but no. Roberto Mary is in position six. Let that sink in. Will Stevens as well, in position 10. Both manners are in the points. I, I'm, I'm very interested to see how this progresses for the rest of this race. Can one of the manners finish inside the points? We'll have to wait and see. First lap car of the day. If you have a quick flashback to Monaco. Oh! Wow. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say. 
We flash back to Monaco. This time last round, we crashed with uh, Roberto Mary, I think it was. And we came very close to that happening again. If he would have hit that wall any harder, he would have rebounded into my path and possibly taken me out of the race there. Whoa. Yeah. Another car bites the dust. So Hamilton started on primes and he's just come into the pits. I'm not supposed to come in for another six laps. So what's going on with the people who started on primes? This is a very dud strategy. It looks like it might be a two stop. A set of options is not going to do 44 laps around Canada. It's just impossible. So these guys are all doing two stops. Well, apart from everyone else who started on options with me, I think everyone else will be on a one stop as well. Really? So, if heavy rain is coming in 15 minutes time, then we're going to come in straight away, put on a set of option tyres, because we're only due to come into the pits very soon anyway. So, we may as well get the benefit of another set of tyres, because our current set aren't going to make it until it rains. So, we'll get the benefit of another set of fresh tyres. And even if it didn't rain for a while, this set can last 30 laps. That's literally the majority of the race. We can chuck on a set of primes from here. Even if it doesn't rain, make it to the end and probably still win this race because Hamilton is about 20 odd seconds behind thanks to his very dud strategy stopping or starting on the primes and just uh, not having the pace. Oh, McLaren Honda, don't do that. Do not do that. That is so risky. And I just almost crap my pants every time they do that. Let's see if we can pass maybe both Lotuses into turn one. Getting past Grosjean will be a bit of a stretch. Actually, no, it won't be. Oh, we almost we almost got him too. Can he get out of the way, please? He's on prime tires and probably old ones at that too. Okay, buddy. Oh, oh, these AI cars, they take so many risks when they when they try and let you through. Blue flag cars are just as dangerous as as landmines. Go away. Go away. Why are you overtaking me? You're only going to let me through anyway. Ah, oh, here comes the other Lotus. What are you guys doing? What are you actually doing? What was that for? You know, it's not necessary. Here we are on board with Maldonado, and you can see both the Lotuses being very opportunistic. We pause it here. I think one of them makes... Con okay, that's a corner cut from me. I am not going to lie one bit there. But then look at this. Grosjean mounts the curb and he actually made contact with me there. I felt it in the wheel. That's why I said why was that necessary? Why did why did you need to make contact and why did you even need to attempt to make the overtake in the first place? These lap cars taking so many risks. Speaking of risks, here's another one. This is Pastor Maldonado, the workplace health and safety risk if I've ever seen one. Trying to hang it around the outside of his teammate there, around the outside of the first sector, and I don't know if he got the move done. No, he didn't. But that was a good display of driving there from the two Lotus drivers. This part of the track right here looks very dark. This is the, the menacing part of the track. Within five minutes? Oh, if it's coming that quickly, it better hurry the hell up because it's still pretty dry at the moment. As I say that, I just saw a few drops of uh, rain uh, scatter on the screen now. Okay. So just as I say, it better hurry up. Well, now we've... Our wish has been granted. Oh, okay. Now, what do we do here? Do we switch on to a set of inters in about two laps time, or do we wait it out that extra danger lap and go straight to wets? I don't know. I think we should just go straight to winters because we do have a sizable lead at the moment. Nothing. We, we've got everything to lose at the moment. We've got uh, more than a pit stops lead over Hamilton, so we may as well play it safe and just bring this thing home to the finish. Still a good 30-odd laps to go, though. Oh, that was a massive slide. Oh, okay, keep it under control. We're coming into the pits anyway at the end of this lap. Set of inters, unless it starts absolutely pouring on this back straight. Uh, I don't think we'll be going to wet. It's another snap of oversteer, literally a snap. I didn't put down the throttle any harder than what I normally would. And, and bam, lost the back end like crazy. Let's just confirm with the team that we are going to intermediates. 
the Sabre in front of us is coming in too, so it is the right time to pit. I was coming in no matter what because the grip just simply went out the window. So into the pits now, hopefully we can get a good stop. That's a very slow one. Very slow. 3.9 seconds. We'll need to improve for next time. And both the Lotuses are stacking. That's uh, good news for those guys. Chances are, knowing how heavy the rain comes down in these games, we'll need to come in for a set of wets on the next lap, I reckon. Oh! Cold tires, wasn't really paying attention. Ah, uh, shit. Oh wow, Raikkonen's retired. I didn't notice that, okay. He must have, he must have retired pretty recently, wow. That, if we just finish this race from here, that's a, that's a massive free kick in the championship. So, into the pits now for a set of wet tires. This was uh, pretty much an inevitable, inevitable pit stop. Uh, again, guys, I told you I was coming in this lap. And still, it's a very slow stop. We had to concede to one of the Lotuses. The other Lotus will come in again and possibly stack behind his teammate once again. But the gap is still about 15 seconds to Hamilton. Even if we are slower in wet conditions, I think we should still be fine. So long as we're not like a second a lap slower, then, then maybe we might be in trouble. But just got to bring in these tyres, bring it up to temperature, get used to the new track conditions, and hopefully we have the pace. I am... I am sliding around a lot on ice. It literally feels like ice! What? We almost understeered into that wall. We were going so slowly too. Oh my god, this thing is a nightmare. The car won't turn. It, it's... It, I don't know. It, are the tires cold? What's the deal? Because I've got no grip right now. Oh, thank god that stint is over. Wet tires, wet track. Just, no. I hate the grip levels on a, on a wet track. Onto a set of inters now, and it's going to be dry in about 10, 15 minutes time as well, so... The track evolution today is crazy. Oh! <laughs> losing five seconds a lap, okay, whatever. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hamilton is coming, and he's coming quickly. Oh, no. I get the feeling that Hamilton's just come in, and we've been hung out to dry on a set of inters for a lap too long. I think, yeah, I think that's exactly what's happened. Oh, sorry headphone users for that, but, uh, yeah. That's when you know you need to go into dry tyres. Cheers for letting me know as always, Engineer. The feedback from the car was actually pretty good. Like, I wasn't expecting to switch to dry tyres for another two laps or so. So to be in this early is actually really surprising, but unfortunately I think we are going to concede the lead to Hamilton here because he has come in at probably the optimal time to come in for a new, a new compound of tyres. So uh, we'll see how we go as we rejoin on the track now. This could well decide the race. And it almost already has. Hamilton has rejoined in the lead. So we had a 15 second margin. Uh, I don't know, when the rain started coming down, or maybe just before it. And now, the lead is nothing. Come on. We parked this thing on pole, and we were so fast at the start of the race. How are we not catching him? I need the slipstream mana, thank you very much. Come again next time. Actually, can you slow down and hold up Hamilton again within the next five laps? Actually, knowing your pace, you probably will get lapped again. Okay, so we need to get out of the way right now. Right now. Thank you. Okay, out of the way. Nice slipstream. See you later. I need the slipstream. I really do. I can't catch Hamilton. DRS. And the McLaren Honda is in my slipstream and about to pass me. Uh, I don't know. I've been burning a lot of fuel because I've been I've been carrying excess fuel. I wonder if I've just been overheating the engine or something, and that's been giving me a deficit in terms of in terms of lap time. Final corner, guys. Hamilton is going to win the Canadian Grand Prix. Bit of a disappointing end to this race, uh, considering the pace we had at the start. But it's P2, more crucial points for the team. 
But uh, unfortunately, that three race winning streak just isn't going to happen today. That's it for today's Grand Prix. And from Antony, it's goodbye and see you again next time. So that's the end of a very dramatic Canadian Grand Prix. It was a very interesting race from start to finish. We had that big pile up at the start of the race after Nico Rosberg spun off my uh, left rear tire there at the Wall of Champions. There was a big pile up then that ensued. Uh, Hamilton managed to escape that uh, without any dramas. However, there were a few cars that uh, didn't get, get held up quite as much as some others, and that's why they finished on the lead lap. But uh, yes, yeah, so, so many cars actually going down a lap in that race. We were on target to absolutely smash this race out of the park. We were going to win it by an absolute mile, but then uh, we didn't have the right setup on the car. The, the downforce was very low on this car, and that's why it didn't work in wet conditions. And I just couldn't get the, the tyre temps up to, up to temperature, and Hamilton was much quicker at that phase of the race. He got the lead down to nothing. He pitted on the right lap to go back onto a set of dry tyres. He got the lead back, and from then on, I... Didn't really have the pace, which is a little bit weird. I don't know if I damaged the engine or something a little bit earlier on in the race. I'll have to compare the straight line speed of the, the start of the race or the early on in the race and the end of the race because, I don't know, something was up. The car actually felt fine, but I just did not have the pace. Either way, Hamilton, congrats to your son. It's uh, another win for him in this championship. Uh, we scroll down. We see a lot of uh, disqualified cars, including Rosberg, Vettel, Perez, Hülkenberg, Verstappen, and Carlos Saints as well. I forgot to mention Kimi Raikkonen was included also in that disqualified list. There's going to be massive championship implications because of this. Kimi Raikkonen currently leads the championship, but I believe it was only 21 points heading into this round. As we look at the driver's standings, is it going to be the same? No, it's not. Hamilton now moves into the lead of the driver's standings. The world championship is now in Hamilton's favor once again. Kimi Raikkonen demoted to second. We're only three points behind Raikkonen in third place. Uh, a very good round for us. Even though we finished second, we've gained crucial points over our key rivals, Rosberg, Vettel, and Raikkonen. So not the worst round in terms of results there, but it definitely moves us closer to this world driver's title so far. That's, that's almost it in terms of the OP rounds now. We've gone through Spain, we've gone through Monaco, and now Canada. Unfortunately, not able to convert this one today. The next one is in Austria, which should be a really good track for us as well. The AI tend not to do so well here, and I'm... I don't know, I think I'm okay at that track, so I'll be looking to go for the win once again. We really do need to make the most out of these wins uh, when they present themselves. So let me know down in the comments if you think we can win the driver's title. I'm certainly going to give it a crack this season. Because after this, if we don't win this season, I honestly don't think we're going to win a championship on F1 2015. That would be uh, somewhat memorable of, uh, of, of my career mode series. I've never gone a game without winning a championship, so that's uh, definitely something to think about. But that's been this video for today. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like this video if you enjoyed. And until my next video, guys, I'll see you next time.